Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you for Friday of the fourth week in Lent. And I'd like for us to ponder today the testing of our faith. In the first reading from the Book of Wisdom, we get an account of how the unjust attempt to test the faith of the just. They say, well, this one who claims that God is his father and will care for him, let's torture him and put him to death and find out how patient he is to see if God will, in fact, provide for him. This isn't a real test. They are, in fact, just causing harm, and they are convinced that he isn't actually just. There's no real interest in finding out the truth of things, which, even if there were, that's still kind of a horrifyingly evil thing that human beings have no right to put others to the test. We have no right to that kind of knowledge. But they're not even seeking it. They really just want to prove that this just one is not, in fact, who he claims to be. They are delighting in the downfall of others, that other people are really no better than, than I am. Right? And this is how human beings test. We often want to just prove that others really aren't that good. God, on the other hand, tests very differently. If you jump back to yesterday, we had the testing of Moses in the book of Exodus, that God offers to Moses, I will make of you a great nation. And Moses says, no, these are your children, Ab the children of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and he clings to that covenant. Now, that's really fascinating because a couple chapters back, uh, before Moses went into Egypt to lead the people out of slavery, as he is leaving from Sinai the first time and heading in, uh, there's this strange account of an emergency circumcision of his son. In other words, Moses had not followed the covenant of Abraham, and yet here he is clinging to it, insisting upon it. God has offered to Moses a real opportunity to cling in faith. These are what real testings of our faith from God are like, that God is providing us for the opportunity to cling to him, to trust him. He's not looking to just prove that we aren't who we say we are. He already knows that. Sometimes we need to learn that and need to discover that we're not the good people that we uh, would like to imagine that we are. But what God offers us is the chance to become that good person, to cling to God, to cling to Jesus Christ. So as your faith is tested in this Lent, think of it not as unjust people looking to prove that you're not that good, we're really not that good anyway. Think of it as the opportunity to become something more, to act in faith, to trust in God, and to become the kind of people that Christ calls us to be. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.